Pack-a-Punch ammo mods from Call of Duty Zombies have been in a few games now, and Cold War is no exception to that. You get to pick between four different elemental effects to add to your weapon, and each of them bring their own unique ability to the table. But however, that doesn't mean that there are going to be some that are better than others, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a guide, if you will, and answering the question of which the best elemental ammo mod is. Now, a lot of you may already know the answer, but there's still some reason as to why. Let's first start with the worst ammo type in the game. I want to say subjectively, but I mean, there is no way someone would choose to use this over any other ammo mod, and that is, of course, Cryo Freeze. Literally, all this thing does is freeze zombies. It doesn't kill them. I don't even think it does damage to them. It is just boring. It's not even good and god forbid you ever try using that in high rounds. The only thing it does, and even its tier 3 upgrade, is just slow zombies down, and nothing else. There's no point in trying to slow the horde down with cryo freeze when you can just outrun them with something like stamina up, so cryo freeze is the worst thing you can be using. I would not waste your points on this ammo mod when there are three others that put this one to shame. Another type of elemental mod effect that I feel isn't the worst at all, but definitely is nowhere near the best, is Napalm Burst. The bonus fire damage that it does is something that would be hard to turn down, especially considering the fact it can straight up ignite zombies. The problem with this mod though is that it can take a while to kill, and the fire damage really isn't that much. It just ends up feeling a little bit underpowered. Unlike Cryo Freezer, at least Napalm Burst actually does damage. I think it is worth shining a spotlight on the fact it can just ignite enemies, making it a very quick kill, but however there are things on this list such as Deadwire which do the job just much better, even if it is an instant. The burning damage just sucks so much for time to kill, but however I am not saying this is a bad one at all. The only mod on here I really don't like is Cryo Freeze because it is literally pointless. It's more pointless than eating cereal with a goddamn fork. So whilst Napalm Burst is good and probably is one of the best base ammo mods without upgrades, it's definitely not the best we have. Moving on to the next one, we have Brain Rot. Now if Brain Rot is fully upgraded, it will actually last for quite a while, giving it time to get more kills and it will basically just turn the zombies against their own kind. Now back when this was introduced in Black Ops 3 as turned, and same with Black Ops 4 I believe, there was one thing people really wanted it to do but it never did, and this was to turn dogs against zombies. And sure as hell, we got it in Cold War. Because Plaguehounds are so lethal in this, having one of them turn is really, really fun to watch and is genuinely really good for kills. Not only that, but the range of which the zombies zombies will go is probably the best out of all of these mods, because turned zombies will actively seek out other zombies, they don't just attack whatever is near them for the most part. This makes Brain Rot good for not only being able to get rid of hordes and go right in between them, but it definitely can be utilised to pick off zombies that are much further away from you. Overall, Brain Rot serves as a very useful and versatile type of alternate ammo. I really did want to save the best until last, and it should be no surprise really, but Deadwire is absolutely amazing. Deadwire just eats. It is easily the best one, and this is because it takes out Megatons, those thick boys, with absolute ease. It just eats through them, and there's no other elemental effect that will do that. And with the amount of electric damage that Deadwire adds on to your firepower, it is a very reliable elemental ammo mod to be able to get you to those high rounds. And if any of this is not sounding good to you at all, then let me just throw this on here. Deadwire has an effect where it will stun zombies and be damaging them at the same time. 
fine and not just in really tiny teeny bits it will take chunks off of them and the kicker is it spreads to other zombies too at a decent range because of all of these amazing qualities that deadwire holds especially with the way it handles the thick boys it is easily the king of all ammo mods and honestly has been since black ops 3 this ammo mod and the gallo sa12 go hand in hand and honestly if you haven't done this yet i encourage you to try and slap this bad boy onto a gallo you'll thank me later anyways i'm gonna leave this video here today if this helped you out or you liked the video in general then be sure to smash the like button comment your thoughts down below if you agree with this or even if you disagree tell me what your favorite ammo mod is and why and i can't believe i'm about to say this but only a small percentage of people who have even been clicking on any of my videos lately are subscribed and if you are finding that you enjoy this content and genuinely would want to see more then definitely do subscribe to the channel be sure to turn on the notification bell too you'll get alerted as soon as i post thank you so 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 much for watching and i will see you next time